So we've recently seen the release of Tactical Assault Sledgehammer, and I wanted to get a video out, meant to do it earlier, and I've just gotten caught up with life and so many different things and um, haven't been able to get it out, but I wanted to get that out today so that way you all have it. And uh, for those of you that are just getting him for the first time, like myself, uh, I wanted to share some possible loadouts that you can use and the loadout that I chose to use when using Tactical Assault Sledgehammer. So uh, without further ado, let's jump into explaining the loadout that I use. All right, so of course we have Tactical Assault Sledgehammer in the commander slot because that is obviously what we're talking about. And I really, really like him. I'm so excited to have finally gotten him because when I was playing Save the World, um, I had many times where it was off and on and I just didn't, you know, uh, ever play at this time to get him and I finally got him. So what he does is he, his ability increases assault and SMG critical damage by 225%. Uh, this really, really increases the damage output that you're going to have and is insane, which you will see here in just a bit. Um, because we are going to focus on the critical side of this to maximize this perk, um, I'm going to run Totally Rocking Out as a team perk. Um, I personally don't suggest running any other team perk with this sort of, you know, um, commander perk and ability. Um, I would definitely say run Totally Rocking Out because you want to increase your critical rating which is what Totally Rockin' Out is going to do. Because the more you crit, the more damage you're going to dish out. So this is the only one I would suggest. Um, yeah, so let's just move on from that. Um, in the support, though, to activate the Totally Rockin' Out, I would suggest using Breakbeat Wildcat because her battle beat is going to allow you to um, grant that Rockin' Riff after you eliminate 10 enemies in 9 seconds, which... Is not going to be hard to maintain, especially once you start and activate Rock and Riff. And you'll see some of that damage in the gameplay. I also like using Varsity Hero um, because eliminations will have a chance for the you know the husk or the enemies when they're eliminated to drop a football which happens quite a bit it says it has a seven percent chance to fumble football but it seems like it happens quite a bit um, and then running over those footballs just automatically gives you rock and riff and then it activates your totally rocking out so um, this is one i like you can run main stage quinn if you want to guarantee a rock and riff or you know choose you know when to use it by using the subwafers that she offers um that's entirely up to you though so however you want to do it um you could do it that way uh, i just like varsity hero um crack shot uh, for his uh, ability mad tidings uh, which is going to uh, grant one stack of holiday spirit holiday Steer spirit basically increases your damage by one percent and decreases weapon stability by 0.2%, and that will stack up to 50 stacks. So as long as you don't um, you know, swap weapons or reload, your first 50 shots are going to constantly increase your damage, and it will you know, decrease the weapon stability. Um, but it's going to be a lot of extra damage going out, so that's why I really like to run Crack Shot. And uh, with this build for Sledgehammer and all of that crit damage that you're doing, it's well worth it. So I highly recommend Crack Shot. Uh, then Assault Damage here, uh, just to increase additional Assault and SMG damage, which will complement the crit damage um, that Tactical Assault Sledgehammer is giving you. Um, this is just going to help with that initial shooting whenever you're not you know, critical hitting, you're at least doing some more damage. This one could be swapped out for other things. Um, I I just, I really like to run this just to up that extra damage. And because it's doing extra damage, whenever you crit, it gives higher crit damage, and which increases that percentage of the 225. So overall, it just helps in general to do more d base damage. So that way your crit damage is even higher. So... This is why I like to run this ability. 
And then Bulletstorm Jonesy with his startup is sort of like Crack Shot. Uh, every shot increases ranged weapon damage by 1%, up to a maximum of 25 stacks. So with Crack Shot, it's 50 stacks at 1% damage, uh, but it decreases the stability of the weapon. And then Bulletstorm Jonesy is going to increase by 25%, basically. Um, but there's no stability decrease, which is nice. And the same with crack shot switching weapons or reloading will remove the buff for this perk. So this is the loadout I use and I really like. For the sake of uh, the video, I'm going to run Adrenaline Rush and Banner. Banner just to drop to make sure that if I die because I am a soldier, I am going into a 160 solo. Um, just to try to do damage that if I die I can spawn back in the same area and we can continue to fight and show you some gameplay of the damage output so uh, typically if I were running uh, this I would probably run adrenaline rush and hover turrets but um, like I said just for the video I want to run banner so let's jump into the video um, for the gameplay is what I meant to say not video we're already in the video but the gameplay and show you the damage that this will do all right, so um, I'm at a large encampment here, and I am in a 160 Deliver the Bomb. Um, I ran it a couple times just to kind of see how things would work out before recording this, and I kept dying a lot because um, blasters keep spawning out of this, so it may be very difficult uh, to show you a full complete um, you know, finish on this. Um, there's just no mobility as a soldier, but I want to try to show you something, so I'm going to uh, trigger this. I don't know why I reloaded, um, but I should be able to yeah, get something put down in the way of healing pads to, to help me live. But yeah, just oh, so many blasters, it just doesn't allow you to <laughs> to do too much um, when you're a soldier I just I really can't do anything with four blasters and I'm I'm solo so it, it makes it really difficult to try to show you all this build um, and I don't really know what else I can do to to stop it um, I mean I can stand back here and shoot try to use some natural cover um, the build completely annihilates standard husk, but as you see, just too much building up at once can be difficult. Let me try uh, using the Scourge now. Definitely seem to be having uh, a little more success with the Scourge. It just, you know, provides a little more damage and output. But, I mean, you can see that it it does do a lot of damage. Um, this is one of the downfalls to soldiers, in my personal opinion, um, and why I, I like to run them, but the lack of mobility makes it very difficult. Um, as long as you are able to move, uh, you're good. Um, but not being able to move makes this very tough. It will do the damage. It does take care of uh, <laughs> the the mist monsters and everything. It's just very tough um, moving. But it does do a ton of damage, which you are seeing. So I know this is probably not like all successful and, you know, um, but that's not the intent. The intent is really to just display the build and show you guys what it can do. Unfortunately, we've got, you know, so many. Let's throw something up here and see. We can just stop some of the onslaught for a minute from these guys. I mean, that's really what we're getting is just blaster after blaster after blaster. So you just can't, you can't survive that. All right, so I found a smasher here. I was getting ready to just like stop, and I was like, "Oh, okay. Well, here's a smasher." So um, I I haven't charged up any shots on this yet, um, 
but I will. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll just use the uh, the LMG, which is at 88,000 there. Um, I'm just going to charge up the shots at least to get 50. We'll get 50 out of it, and then we'll see what we can do against this smasher. So now our damage is 143,000. Um, and we'll take care of this, uh, this smasher here and see what it can do. So just against the Husky Hus. That crit damage, though, is just so nasty, man, when it comes to Tactical Assault Sledgehammer. And there you go. I mean, we were able to just annihilate that guy. Uh, and then if you have the Scourge, the Scourge is even better. It's definitely a much better of the two uh, weapons. If you've got to pick one. Uh, so if you have the Scourge and you run Tactical Assault Sledgehammer, it's going to be a little more successful for you. Um, but yeah, that's some of the gameplay on this. Alright everyone, so that is some of the gameplay. It didn't go the way that I wanted it to go, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Um, but there's Tactical Assault Sledgehammer. I really enjoy... Um, using it but I don't use it solo um, that's just me unless I were in like a lower level mission where I don't have to uh, try nearly as hard or um, you know it's definitely not going to be a 160 solo build uh, at all uh, it's going to do the damage that you need but you've got to have teammates to help draw some fire and, and things like that some traps and all that so um, outside of that though uh, is a great build. I really enjoy using it. Um, and if you guys uh, want to give it a shot, let me know uh, what you, you know how it worked out for you. Uh, if you use the same loadout, if you have suggestions on some other support members or something that would be even better, um, let me know and uh, comment that down below. I've also got the description uh, down in the description is a link to our Discord. I cannot get my words together today. I don't know why, but I'm not going to keep re-recording. Um, you know, just bloopers, I guess. But, yeah, so our Discord is down in the description if you want to join in. Um, we've got a great group of people, and it just keeps getting bigger and better. So um, you can also come check me out on Twitch. Uh, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and uh, I'll be more than happy to run some of these loadouts and do some other stuff to show you guys some things and uh, just offer some fun entertainment. So hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you enjoy the content, and I'll catch you in the next one.